Hello viewers here, welcome to TM Graphics. Today we shall be designing an us logo. With some tricks and tactics in CorelDRAW, we'll be able to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing I'll be doing is I want to rotate this image to my satisfaction. So I'll click on it one more time. And I'll come to this part and I'll rotate. Okay, I think I'm okay with this position. So now I want to work on transparency. I want to work on the transparency of this image such that we'll be able to trace around it, right? So how do I do that? I'll just click on this. It has been selected already. So I'll come to this part where we have blend to. Now click on the drop down. Then I'll come to transparency. What type of transparency do I want on this? So I want a uniform transparency. So I'll come down to this part, I click on uniform. So that is that about that. So the next thing is I need to trace around this shape. So before I do that, I'll need to zoom it so that we can see it properly. All right, so the next thing now is I want to pick my free and to and I'll start to trace around this image. Okay, I want to increase the thickness of my line, my outline. Still, okay, so I can start to trace around this image. So I'll be starting from here. Now, I need to convert this straight line to a curve. So, how do I do that? I will just come to my shape to now highlight all of this. Now, come to this part and click on convert to curve. Okay. So I can now continue with the tracing. I'll pick my free hand to and continue. Okay. So I'll drop this here. So I still need to convert this straight line to, to curve. So I'll come to my shape to and I will highlight all of this once more. Then I'll come to this part. I'll click on convert to curve. And I can convert the straight line to curve as well. Okay. So I'll still pick my free hand to and continue with the line. So drop it here. This here, twisting this part. Yes, I'll do this here. Do this part. I'll lag like this part for a reason. Also, lag like this part for a reason. So I can continue with the tracing. Okay. Also lag this part for a reason.
I'll drop it here. I'm taking this in this part. Okay. Take it in a bit. I'll drop this at this part. Take this in. This way, drop this here. I will trace this in. Okay. Now this part is not properly traced, so I can reverse the action here. Control Z to reverse your action. So I'll start from here again. Bring it down like this. I bring this uh, to this way. Right. And I will drop this here. This in a bit. And I can drop this here. Finally, okay. So the next thing I want to do is I want to trace, I want to convert the straight line to curves, right? Just like we did initially. So I'll go to my shape to now select all of this line, right? Select everything, and I'll come to this part, click on convert to curve. Then I can start to convert every part to curve. So let me start from here. Take this in. Okay. This follows. Work on this part as well. Work on this part. I need to click on this part. Because that part is a joint. So what I have to do there is I will just align this little part like this and, and arrow will pop up. Can you see? So with the help of that arrow, I'll be able to work on that curve there. Can you see? So you just use the arrow to Work on that part. So I also use this part, this arrow here, to perfect the curve. Okay. I'm still working on that part. We push it in a bit. And I like this part too. Okay. I think I'm okay with that part. So. I can work on this part as well. Okay. Bring it back a bit. Yes. So I just double click on that point and it's curved properly, right? So I can work on this part as well. I'll just bring it out a bit. And this part also. Okay. For this part. Take this part in a bit. Okay. Okay. So I can work on this part too. Okay, let me bring it closer. Okay. Let it All right. So I'll work on this part, bring it out a bit. Okay. So 
so I want to work on this part as well. Okay, bring this out. Okay, so this part too. Don't forget we have convert all the straight line to curve. So that is why we're able to work on all these parts and also be able to work on this part as well. So without you converting it to curve, you'll be able to actually move all of this line. So it's very compulsory you convert it to curve. Okay. I'll be working on this part as well. I told you I lagged this part for a reason. This is why I've done that. Can you see? So it will have that budging effect. Can you see that? So also this part, I lagged it for a reason. Can you see? So I can now align this part and push it out a bit. I can align this part as well like this. And an arrow will pop up. So with the help of the arrow, I will be able to work on that part. So let me bring this in a bit. I can bring this part in a bit. Can you see that? So this part, so I told you, I like this part for a reason, right? So I can take it out a bit. This way. Boom. That is that. So watch the other part. Okay, I want to work on this part as well. I'll take this part, convert it to curve properly. Yes. I think we are good to go. Mission that part, mission that part, we have worked on this part. Okay, let me just take this part in a bit. Okay. I think I'm okay with this. And the next thing is, I want to create another shape here to make this serial enough right so i'll just go to my free hand to and i will trace around this part but before i do that let me zoom that part so that i'll be able to see it properly okay i'll go to my free hand to now start to create a shape here So I'll go to my shape too and I'll highlight all of this. Okay, so now I can convert this to curve by clicking on this part. And then I'll convert this to curve. This out a bit. Okay, so this part too. What's curve? Bring this part out a bit, right? Okay. I'll work on this part as well. Bring this part. So I'm just trying to... Okay. Working on this part, I'll be dragging it out a bit. Can you see that? Okay, so let me bring this part out a bit. Okay, this part should be out a bit. Okay, okay. What this? What this? Let me take this part in a bit. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I can take this part in a bit as well. So I think we are okay with this part. So now I can reduce the zoom level. Okay. Okay. So let me just put this aside. Alright. So the next thing is I want to create a patch. 
So I'll come to my polygon tool and I will draw a polygon shape by holding down my control key, left click and drag, right? Okay. So I have a polygon. Let me increase the thickness of this polygon to 16 as well. Okay, so that is that about that. So the next thing is I want to break all the part of this polygon so that I'll be able to work on it. So how do I break it? I just click on the short key, Ctrl Q. So with that, I've broken all the part of this polygon so that it can be altered, right? Now, I'll come to my shape to and I'll highlight the polygon to half way, right? So I hold down my control key and I'll come to this middle, drag it, and you see. So I've been able to do this because I've broken all the part of the polygon. If not, it won't be possible. So the next thing is I want to work on these nodes here and these nodes here. So I'll just highlight this part and then I'll right click to delete. Let me highlight it one more time. I'll right click on it and I'll delete. So I like this part as well. I'll right click on it and I will delete. So that's that about that. So let me bring this to the middle. Okay. So the next thing is I want to alter this point. So I'll just tap on this point, left click on it, then I will drag. Can you see that? So I have been able to alter that point. So what I want to do next is I want to bisect the shape. So I'll come to my Smart View tool. Then I will bisect this perfectly. Okay. Okay. I'll drop it. Also increase the thickness of that line. Also. Yes, I'm okay with this. So the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be clicking on the Smart Field tool to give this part a color. Okay, that is that about that. So I've created the part here, so I don't need this part again. I can delete all of this. Delete and bring this out. I'll be deleting this as well. Delete. So I want a duplicate of this shape. So I'll click on this. I'll hold on my control key come to this part, drag to the other part, then right click. So I have a duplicate. Now the next thing is I want to match this duplicate together. So I'll just highlight it like this. And I'll come to web, this icon up here, I'll click on it. So I have a single entity, can you see this? This is interesting, isn't it? All right, so the next thing is I want to create a contour on this duplicate. So how do I do that? I'll come to this part where I have my transparency tool. I'll click on the drop down and I'll select contour, right? So I'll come to this middle here and I'll drag a bit. Okay, so I have created a contour around the badge, right? So that is that about that. So I still need to break this contour. So how do I break the contour? I'll just right click it and I'll come to this part and I'll click on break on top group at parts or better still you can use the short key control key so I've broken the control key apart so now I can now merge everything together okay so I'll be clicking on this combine so let me give it a color okay that is that about that I think we are progressing right so now the next thing is I want to bring in this shape into this patch right so I'll just highlight all of this I can bring this here let me make this bigger Okay, that is that about that. So what is? 
I need to resume this so I can work on this part. So I can work on this part. So I'll just go to my zoom button, then I will highlight all of this. Okay. So I need to work on this part. So let me just highlight this. Let's part this way. Okay, so the next thing is I will select my free and two and I'll continue with the tracing. So I'll start from here. Okay. This part. Right, do this. Okay. So I need to increase the thickness of that line. Let me increase it to 16 as well, okay? So it's visible enough now. So I'll continue with that. All right, drop this here. Okay, let me just reverse that action there. I want this longer than that. So click on it. Okay. From this here, yeah, okay. From this here, okay. Drop in this here, drop this here as well. From this end, from this here, take this end. So more like a zigzag, right? So I finally drop this here. No, let me reverse the action there. I don't need to touch that badge. Okay, and drop this here. Take it in a bit. Finally. Leave it okay. So I'm okay with this. So now the next thing is I need to highlight all of this. So I just come to my shape two and I'll highlight all of this line, right? So that I'll be able to convert to what to curve. So click on convert to curve and I can start to work on this, right? So let me bring this here. This way. Okay, and I'll work on this part too. Okay, let me take this up a bit. So I'll highlight these little points. I'll be able to take it up a bit. Can you see that? Let me bring this nearer a bit. I don't want it straight. Okay, so this part too. And we work upon okay is that part is curved enough okay i think i'm okay with that so i can work on all of these parts this part this part okay. this is getting more interesting right so you can work on this part as well Come to this part and I'll work on this part as well. So I'm touching all of those lines I've drawn. I want it to curve. Okay. So don't forget we are trying to draw um to draw an horse look good. Further. So I'm working on those parts. I want to make it curve. I don't want straight line there. Okay, this part as well. This part. This part as well. Click then. This part. Okay. And this part as well. 
this part two, this part two, this part as well. Okay. So let's start about that. Now the next thing is I can delete and create parts. So let me just reduce the zoom level of this. Okay, and I'll bring it to the middle. Bring it to the middle. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. So now I can use my smart field tool to create a layer. So I'll be using the smart field tool now. I want to change the color to this. Okay. I'll create a part on this part. Yes. Create a part here too. Okay. Create a part here. I also have a part here. Right. So now I can delete some parts. So I want to delete this part. Right click on it and delete. Can you see that? This part as well needs to be deleted. I click on it. Delete. No. Let me reverse the action. Okay. Okay, what is that about that? So which other parts? This part will need to be deleted. So I will need to zoom this part so that I can see it and select it properly before I delete, right? So let me just come to my zoom tool and I'll zoom this part. Then I'll click on my pick to, to select. So I'll be selecting it carefully, right? So that we don't have to reverse the action just like we did the other time. So I selected this, then I'll right click and delete. Can you see? So now let me return this to the proper zoom level. Okay, so I can adjust this. Yes. Now the next thing is I can now remove. Okay, let me remove this picture. We don't need for now, still we need in the picture. So the next thing is I'll click on this contour, then I'll break this, come to this icon here, break apart, control K, right? Okay, we have broken this. Okay, the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be creating a kind of shape at this part so that it will look like the air is falling off at the other side, right? So it's just like a continuation of this air at this very part. So let me just do that quickly. Okay, I'll be clicking on my shape to my free hand to rather. Then I'll be creating this shape like this. Okay. Okay. Take this in. Up this way. Do this in. Okay. So now I can now click on my shape to and I'll highlight all of this. Come to this part, convert to curve so that I'll be able to work on this properly. Okay, let me just do this piece. This way. Okay, this part soon is converted to curve. Okay, I'll highlight this part because it's a joint, so I use the arrow to work on the curve. I take this in as well. Let me highlight it again. Okay. So I can bring this out now. Okay. That is that about that. So let me work on this part as well. This part in, this part should go in, this part should come in, this part should be like this, 
I like this little part too because it's a joint. That's a joint. Okay. So I can bring this in. Okay. Let me take this up a bit. And this part too. Okay. Take it in a bit. This point in a bit. Okay. So I convert this to curve finally. Okay, this part so needs to be adjusted. Okay, I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay, so that is that about that. I need to reduce the size of this shape. Now turn it over. Right. Let me just reduce the size. Okay. I can bring this over to this part. Right. Okay. Let me give it a color. Let's try brown. This cool enough? Yes, I can take it. All right, I think that's better. So let me give this part a color too. Brown. Okay, can you see? So it looks like the air is falling off, right? So, or better still, we can use another better color. Let me use this. Okay, I think I'm okay with this color. So that is that about that. So the next thing is, I'll be giving this part a contour. I'll be giving it a color too. So I'll be giving it this particular color. So I'll just click on this contour and select this color. And I'll select this color. Okay. So I'll click on Control Page Down to take that contour down. Right. So Control Page Down. Can you see that? So that is simple. It's as simple as that. So I need to give this also a color too, a bright color too. Let me just click on this and give it white. Okay, I think that is better. Let me give this part to a color. White is good. So this part also white. Okay, we are good to go. So the next thing is I want to create a kind of a shading effect on this horse. So how do I do that? I'll just go to my free and to and I'll create a part such that I'll be able to have an effect on that also. So take it this way. This way. Okay, let me just drop it here. That part. Take it here. Okay. So let me give that part. Okay, I'll convert that, car, uh, that part to a curve. So I'll come to my shape two and I'll select all of this. Click on the curve, convert to curve, and I can convert this part to curve. Right? Convert this part to curve. Okay, and this part as well needs to be converted to curve. Okay, take a like in that way. So I bring this in as well. So I'll just align this little part so that I'll be able to work on this. No. Okay. Okay. Yes, so I can give that part a layer. So let me use okay. I need to select a color here. Prefer color this. Okay, so I'll give this part a layer. So I also need to create 
another effect on this part too. So I'll be making use of my free hand too. And I'll start from here, from this very edge here. Take it. I'll take it this way here. And this way. This way. With nine here, yeah? right? I can bring this down. I can bring this here. Okay, I'll drop it here. Okay, I'll drop this here. Like this. I'll take it like this. All right. So now I can convert the straight lines to curve. So how do I do that? I'll just click on my shape to and I'll highlight all of this line. Okay, so I'll come to this part and click on convert to curve. So I can convert this to curve. So also this. Convert this part to, to curve. So I'll just highlight this little point because I have a junction there. So I can use the arrow to work on this part, right? Okay. Okay, this part too needs to go down like this. Okay, I think I'm cool with that. Then this part. I can bring this like this. Okay. I can bring this part a bit out. Yes. So now I can create a layer on that part too with the help of the word smart field too. So let me just create a layer here. All right. That is that about that. So let me use this color. That's the color. No. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. So I'll use this color for this side too. Okay, this is a better color. So now I need to delete this. I don't need this. Right? Right click on it and delete. So this one also I need to delete this. I don't need this. Right click on it and delete. So that is that about that. So now we need to work on the highs. We need to work on the highs of this horse, right? So let's go to our original image, right? So I will need to zoom this so I can work on that eyes. Click on this and zoom. Oh. Okay. Now I'll click on my freehand to and I'll trace around this. Drop it here. Drop it here. Drop it here. Drop this here. Drop this here. Drop this. And I'll drop it here. Okay. So the next thing I'll be doing is. I'll convert this to curve, right? So I'll just click on my shape to and I'll highlight all of this. Now I'll click on this part, convert to curve. Then I can work on this. I'll work on this part too. Convert this part to curve. And this part is out. This part is out. So I can convert. This part too. So that is that about that. So there's one other thing I want to do. I want to make use of my ellipse too. Okay, I just want to create something in here. Okay, fine. Let me use the freehand too. But I'll be reducing the pixel to three, and then. 
I'll be able to create a path within this part to me. And finally here, okay. Can have to start about that. So do I need to I don't need to convert this to cup. So I'll just get my ellipse to and I'll create a little circle this way. So I can give this is this circle a feel of brown. So I just come to this part and click on brown. Can you see? So I've given it a feel of brown. So I will reduce this. Okay. So I can bring this in here. Can you see? Let me just make it different. Okay. And I'll be giving this layer. Let me adjust this too. Okay. I'll be giving this part a color too. And I can now merge everything together, right? I can merge everything together. So I'll just click on my pick to and work on this. So let me just reduce the, the zoom. Okay. So all of this shift this. And this to be moved out right so I'll just analyze everything and control G so I'll group everything together can you see that okay so I can take this as a high right so I'll reduce the zoom Can bring all of this here. Now put this in here. Wow. So that is the eyes. That is the eyes. It's not simple enough. So the next thing is I just want to create this here, right? So I can just pick my Three and two. Okay, before I do that, I'll have to zoom that part. Use my zoom button and I'll zoom this part. So I'll click on my free and two and I'll try to create a kind of shape here. Okay. So let me give this a color. Black. Okay, that is that about that. So I can reduce the zoom level. Let's come to this part 75. Okay. We are good to go. We are good to go. Now the next thing is I want to remove the outline for this. But if I do that, I will have to group all of this together. Okay, so I'll highlight every part of this logo and I will control G. So control G is for grouping. The short key for grouping is control G. So that is that about that. Can you see? So we have a logo. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to remove the outline. So you just click on this and come to this part and right click. So we have removed the outline. Can you see? Can you see? So I think that is all, that is all, that is all. So we have finally come to the end of this class. I believe every one of us has learned one or two tricks and techniques 
to create a logo. So you can ask where create your own logo. It is simple. Just follow this tutorial video step by step and you'll get it. It's very, very easy to do. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on the notification button so that whenever we draw videos like this, you get notified. Please like and comment on this video. Thanks for watching and God bless every one of you. Bye for now.